Well, the first day of polling, honey. Uh, I got some guys back in the honey house cleaning the place up, getting the, um, the equipment ready to go. Uh, I brought a bunch of guys out to the yard and we're just stripping boxes. So uh, it's pretty quick work. I'm just going to show you what to do. I just kind of caught up in my uh, job here in the yard. So I'll just briefly show you what we're doing. All these boxes now have been cleared. The bees are now down into the bottom, filling those empties back up with nectar. And these tops are free of bees. Stacks up, and then just simply put, and you slide them on to the right. pallets on the truck. Here, Patty. And the guys work their way out. And as you can see, these bees are busy bringing nectar, filling the comb back up. We're a little overstaffed right now because we're not running the honey house yet. But as soon as we do that, we'll have two or three with me in the yard at all times, and then the other honey crew will be working in the honey house. Oh, a pun. <laughs> oh, look, a pun. It's like a clue. You can see all the bees have moved down. They're all underneath the screen. They can't get back up through the cones. I'll get Cameron to open up the top. I'll show you the bees working on the comb. These little girls are preparing the comb right now. They moved all the way up to the top already. And they're bringing in fresh nectar. So this frame is half full of fresh nectar already. So that's three boxes they're working on all at once. Well, I'm rushing the, uh, the escapes uh, by about a day just because I want to get the honey house going. But it appears the bees are in heavy enough flow they're clearing quite nicely. There isn't a whole lot in these boxes. They're pretty much full. 